name is Michael, and I have a problem. My problem is, I love paintbrushes. I just got these in the mail today. I can't wait to open them up. I want to show you. You want to see them? Come on, let's check them out. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the studio. So, I do have a problem in that I really like paintbrushes. I think you've seen over the past few weeks, I've had a number of different sets of paintbrushes. I've got more paintbrushes in here that I've bought that I haven't reviewed. Uh, I just I just like to try new things and I saw these online. These are Art Secret uh, watercolor quill paintbrushes and I couldn't pass them up. I had to try them out. These are, they're, they're labeled as, let me get the biggest one, it may be easy to see, Art Secret, uh, but they are actually put out by a company called D-A-I-N-A-Y-W. Uh, I don't, I don't know, I think this is the parent company and this is just a different brand of them. I don't have uh, the other brushes, I know they make Dane... Dane, Dane, A-O-W-D-A-I-N-A-Y-W, I'm butchering the name. They make a pure squirrel hairbrush with a standard, uh, like a birch handle. Um, I have a set of those. I haven't opened those yet. I wanted to come home and open these. Um, these are about $40. I believe they're about $40 on Amazon. I'm about to find out if that's a good value or not. Uh, I do I do like the idea of using these. I should say I bought a while ago this brush. This is a Da Vinci uh, pure uh, squirrel hair brush from Germany and uh, this is a fantastic brush. This is what started my whole brush fas brush fascination. And so when I saw these that were part synthetic and part real hair, um, I, I, I went, okay, I'm going to try those out too. So I've got, I've got some other brushes. Here's another one that is that quill style of brush. Uh, I've got some more around here, but, uh, we're not here for those today. We're here for these. That was just a little bit of my brush fascination. Uh, they're all, they all come in individually wrapped. Let's see if we can get one open. I'm not sure. I don't want to open through the bristles. Uh, let's see if we can get one open. Hang on one second. This might help. There we go. I'll just do all of them at once. One. Oh, that'll work. Two. Let's see. Three and four. So this pack comes with a, the largest size. They have listed as a number six. Comes with a number four. A number should be a number two, yes, and a number one, and I can tell right away, not that it makes that big of a deal, but that it has, these brushes have plastic handles on them. Let me just pull these guards off. And I want to take a quick look at the bristles here. If you can see, that, maybe I can do this. You see, I'll put them down on a sheet of watercolor paper and see if maybe I can zoom in a little bit. Let's get that in the center. And this one is the zoom. We're going to refocus. Come into focus. Come on, little camera. There we go. Um, I'm just rolling these around. They all come to a pretty good point. This big fat one here, that's my number six. The point looks a little funky on here. It it shoots up right at the end and then it gets, I, I don't know, it has a little nib or something there on the end, you can see. Um, I'm gonna hold judgment on this one. The rest of these come to a nice point. That doesn't always mean any, anything, but they look good. I do have a couple of stray hairs. Again, maybe that doesn't mean anything. We'll find out. Let's just dip one in the water here. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. They do have uh, quite a bit of glue or gelatin on them. I think we're going to dip all of them and let them uh, get a little bit wet here. 
while we try to do this, they are quite stiff inside there. Maybe this one is softened a little bit more. Wow, these are tough. I think you see, I think you can see it just, it's got a lot, a lot, a lot of glue on there. There we go, it's starting to come off, so we'll see. Let's let that one sit for a moment. Well, we'll see how good these work. Wow, I can't believe how much <clears throat> is on there. I'm really holding them in place. Now, I'm looking at these, and I know that these are part synthetic bristles. They're squirrel hair and synthetic horsehair bristles. I don't know what um, synthetic horsehair is. I don't know if that's a good bristle or a bad bristle. Like I said, we'll find out in just a second. There we go, this one's coming up. It did appear as though some of these bristles were quite thick, quite coarse. I, I don't, let me just do this. I'm getting water all over my, my table here and this yellow I just think will help you see things really nicely. I, sh I should say, uh, this, is, this is a chamois that you would normally use to uh, dry your car with or wash your car with. And somebody told me that these make a great uh, a, a complement to your uh, uh, watercolor kit. Uh, they can be in your studio, in your travel kit, wherever. Uh, because you, you dip your brush in water, you want to get a little bit of it off. This chamois just soaks it all up. And uh, so the guy told me that. And I was like, yeah, right, whatever, whatever. And then I tried it, and holy cow, the guy's right. It just soaks up everything. Oh, this big brush. This is so hard. I think I can... You can hear how much glue is in there holding these together. Wow, I never thought it would take me five minutes. I don't know how, how much time. Five minutes of time to get these out of here okay there we go that's pretty good it's getting softer all the time okay yep that's getting softer okay how are we doing on this one? Oh, this one's this one's good yep let's check all of these now that one's gotten pretty good nice and soft and yep Okay, now I do have quite a bit of water here, and I should sop a little bit more of this up. Let me just do, there we go. Sham wow! No, that's, that's funny. Okay, so I guess we can see, I've just kind of played around with these a little bit. I'm setting them down, and if I roll them around even, you can see they still are holding a pretty good tip on there. Which I think is a good sign. I'm going to pull out my my kit. This is my um, Holbein watercolor kit. Let me zoom out just a little bit. You can see what I'm doing. I think that's pretty much in focus. Okay, I'm going to grab, I'm going to start with the smallest one. Okay, I'm going to push these off to the side and I'm going to this is a little bit too wet for me. I'm going to grab a towel. Dry that a little bit. This, this is just an old set. This is a... I don't even know when I did that a long time ago. It's just a test piece of paper. I'm going to get some paint. I'm going to use... I'm going to use Prussian Blue, which is over here. Nice, strong color. So you can see it pretty easily. There it is. It's a beautiful blue, Prussian blue. So I dab my brush in there, this brush, and uh, right away my initial thoughts are, I, if I dab that in and just pull it away, it still comes to a pretty good point. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. And I bet I could 
Well, let's see how fine of a line I can get with that. Just that way. That's not too bad. If I give it a little bit of a twist, maybe I can get it a little bit finer. Maybe not. Well, that's about it. Okay. But I will bet you that this brush will hold quite a bit of water. Look at that. I've gone the whole way. This is one, two, three, four, five inches long, and I've still got more paint, not too much more. Maybe I can pull that out for an easy six inches worth of a line of paint an inch wide with this small brush. And let me try one more time. If I can get a small, there we go, look at that. If you can see that, there it is. That is a tiny, thin, thin line I can achieve with this little brush. That's pretty good. This is a size one. I'm fairly impressed with this given the fact that this whole set cost $40. So, well, I guess it's a, the way to look at it is that makes this a $10 paintbrush. I guess I should hope that a $10 paintbrush is a pretty good brush. I think so far it's proved it's pretty good. Let's grab, uh, let's grab the next one up. This is the number two. Let's grab a little bit of that Prussian blue color. And again, I just mixed it here and pulled it up, and I do have one hair that's coming out. If I could grab it, come on, I can't get it. Well, it's gonna come out on its own. Okay, I can't do that, I gotta, I gotta reach in here and really grab, it's gonna bug me. Boy, I really, I can't, there, well. I can't get it. I can't get, it's got one bristle, I can't get, okay. Let's see how we do. I'm just going to do, without doing anything, just right off of the palette. Let's see how fine of a line I can go. Yeah, so-so. And let me see if I give it a little twist. If I give it a little twist, just zoom, just like this on the palette, uh, I think I can get a quite a bit finer line than that. Well, I can get a little bit finer line than that. And I am sure, I mean, if that one, if the number two here held that much water, this one should hold a ton of water too. I don't think I had this one quite as wet. But you can see it's gonna hold enough water to get you going. And these are the smaller brushes. Let's pull this out. This is my number two uh, squirrel hair from Da Vinci, and yeah, I guess these are about the same size, a number two and a number two. Um, pretty close, pretty close. Let's grab this number four. Did I get the right one? Yep, the number four, and let's see how this one does with a little test. And of course, this is not a definitive test. This is just a little something something while we're getting going. We're, we'll do a fuller test as we paint with these a little bit. And I'll come back and, and share with you my thoughts on these after I've used them a little while. Well, that's, that's, that's pretty nice. That, this is holding a lot of water too. I mean, I can make some big, I don't know, you need a leaf? There you go, there's a leaf right there. Whop! Another one, whop! There you go. And I don't know what we can do, let's see. Let's see, a little less water, a little thicker. There we go. <laughs> we just got a, a stem and some uh, leaves on it. That's pretty good, I think. 
Now, I don't know that I would use this brush for that purpose, <clears throat> but I might. It's tending on. I'm losing a little, I'm losing a bristle in this one too. I'll have to check that. Uh, when I do a further review of these, more than just this opening and playing with them, after I've used them for a while, I'll let you know how the uh, hairs are coming out on these. If they continue to come out, that's two brushes that they've kind of started out on a little bit, but I'll let you know how that goes. Now let me get this big one. Now I wouldn't use this big one for anything more than, you know, a big wash or something like that. Let's see, make sure it's still nice and soft. Yeah, it's still nice and soft. And let me splay these out. I hope you can see that that's, that's a big brush. That, that's gonna make for an easy wash. So if I dip that in, Boy, I can cover some space in no time with that. It actually feels pretty nice, even though it's got a plastic handle. If I put, well, it's, yeah, it's a little, this one's a little top heavy. So I think the, the balance is somewhere around this wire right here. But it doesn't feel too heavy when I... When I hold it, let's see, what is this cobalt blue? A little cobalt blue here. And as you would suspect, I'm not getting a really fine line with this giant brush. But look at that, that's, that's not so bad. I've seen worse lines with a, with a big brush. I've got some really big ones here that I can't quite achieve that final line with. Wow, Why not? I'm gonna rinse it one, two, three, four times I put it back in the water and pulled it out and it still got paint in it. It's really held a lot of water. Yeah, that's a little, I've got it full, these bristles are full of water. And I don't mind the short handle. I don't, I'm not I, a long handle person, eh. I like the short handle because I can hold it right on this barrel, but that is, it feels like it's pulling down. It's a little top heavy. I don't know. I don't know yet if that's a detractor. This one, not bad at all. These two uh, littler ones, I didn't notice it at all. You would expect that. Um, so these are good. And what I, I, I will say, I, I do like, I can smack this around a little bit and it may not come to a perfect point but it's coming to a pretty decent point all of these are I'm I don't know that I'm look there I can set it right there there's another little tiny hair I don't know that I'm yeah I'm a little impressed with that that's just well, this one maybe, boy, I just, oh, I can't quite get that one. Maybe if I did it this way. I know it's there. Did I get it? I think I got it. I got, there's a hair in there. This one maybe not quite as, well, I don't know. It's not bad. You can see it's, I'm twisting it around. It's, it's not a bad point. And this one, if I just tap it in there, it comes to a pretty good point. So I, I would say... I don't know. I uh, I think. How do I want to display this? Let me do. Let me do that. Let me put that out, and I'll pull these brushes back out and set them on here. Now that I've gotten that a bit dirty. Let's see. I got a six. I got a four. Where do I, a two? Come on, six. What are you doing to me? And I've got a one. <clears throat> I have to say, I'm not disappointed. I don't know if I'm completely overly blown away with these or not. I do think, initial impression, I think they're probably good value for money. Uh, I'm going to try to do a number of paintings with these. I'll probably do some practice sessions with a number of these. I will certainly let you know. I'll let you know if I lose any more bristles. I've got a couple. I see one that's sticking out the side here. And maybe there's another one or two going to come out of this big one. I'll let you know all that. I'll let you know how they do. I'll come back and I'll paint a painting with them. 
with you. Let me get a little practice with these under my belt. But there you go. These are the D-A-I-N-A-Y-W uh, Art Secret Quill Paintbrushes Part Squirrel Part Faux Horsehair. And uh, I hope you had a good time seeing this with me tonight. I'm glad I could bring these to you. I will endeavor to do something about my brush fatuation, but uh, until I get that under control, you get to see some new brushes on my channel. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate having you here. We'll see y'all later. Thanks. Bye-bye.